Welcome to Smart Setup Guide. Here, we make tech setup easy and stress-free. From routers to smart home devices, we provide simple, step-by-step -step guides to help you get everything running smoothly. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech tips. In this video, I'll show you how to manually set up your TP-Link RE200 Wi-Fi range extender without using the WPS button. If your router doesn't support WPS, don't worry, this manual method is just as easy. Let's get started. Start by unboxing your TP-Link RE200. Inside, you'll find the Wi-Fi extender and a quick installation guide. That's all you need to begin setup, simple and straightforward, with no extra parts or complicated instructions to worry about. First, plug the TP-Link RE200 into a power outlet close to your Wi-Fi router. Wait for the power LED to turn solid, which means the device is powered on and ready. Now, on your phone or computer, go to your Wi-Fi settings and connect to the extender's default network. It will appear as something like TP-Link underscore extender or TP-Link underscore RE200. After connecting to the extender's network, Launch a web browser and enter tplinkrepeater.net or 192.168.0.254 in the address bar. This will open the TP-Link RE200 setup interface, where you can begin the configuration process easily. This opens the setup page. If asked, create a new login password for your TP-Link RE200 extender. This secures your settings and allows you to manage the device including connecting to your main Wi-Fi and adjusting configurations. After logging in, the extender will scan for available Wi-Fi networks. Select your main Wi-Fi network from the list. When prompted, enter your existing Wi-Fi password and click Next. You can choose to keep the same Wi-Fi name as your main router, or create a different one by adding underscore EXT to the end. Click Next to continue. The RE200 will now apply your settings and reboot. After rebooting, unplug the extender and move it to a location that's roughly halfway between your router and the area with weak Wi-Fi. Make sure it's still within range of your router's signal. And that's how you manually set up the TP-Link RE200 without using WPS. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.